right, Jeffy, open up your present. One present day? Yeah, you only got one. Why? I, I, I don't know, that's all Santa brought. Well, that better be something good. <laughs> Elephant poop! I wanted this last year! <laughs> Elephant poop, that's coal, and you got coal because you're a bad boy. Bruh. You said Jeffy's a bad boy? Yeah, Jeffy, you were a bad boy all year long, so Santa got you coal because you got our videos age restricted. Take that, Santa Claus! Jeffy! You did a Christmas tree, Jeffy! Yeah, because Santa Claus gave me elephant poop. Jeffy, you didn't get toys because you were bad, and bad kids don't get toys for Christmas, Jeffy! <sighs> <sighs> Mario, happy free stuff day. Where my presents at? Oh yeah, I did get you a present, Black Yoshi. Uh, hold on, let me get it. Uh, Merry Christmas, Black Yoshi. Ooh, what'd you get me? I hope it's money. Let me see. Huh? <gasps> Purple is cool, eh? Oh, you know me all too well, folk. Yeah, I, I know. I got you Kool Aid. I, I always... package came for you, folk. What, a package came. Yeah. For me? Mm hmm It's from you two. Where, where'd you get this? Oh, I stole it off our front doorstep. See, I was going around, stealing packages off people's front doors, and I stole this one from my house. Oh, what, what, it, but it's from you two. What, what would you two want to send us? I don't know. Wait, see. So, uh, uh, this present has been age-restricted. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what they've been doing to us. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas, Black Yoshi. Merry Christmas. Whoa! Look at all the stuff I got for Christmas! This is the best Christmas ever! Uh, stupid Santa Claus! Huh? But Jeffy, what's wrong? I didn't get anything for Christmas! But you, you didn't get anything for Christmas? Well, I got elephant poop! Elephant poop? Yeah. Well, well, Santa gave me all this cool stuff. Look, he gave me this robot, and he gave me a Thomas the Dank engine. He's so dank. Oh, you got all this stuff for Christmas from Santa Claus? Yeah, from Santa Claus. Huh? <laughs> Huh? What's wrong, Jeffy? Why did Junior get present from Santa Claus and I only got elephant poop? Well, because, Jeffy, I already explained this to you. You were bad all year long and Santa Claus doesn't give toys to kids that were bad. Well, how did he know I was bad, Daddy? Because, Jeffy, Santa Claus is always watching you. He always knows if you're bad or not, and you were bad all year long, so he didn't give you any toys. So Santa Claus is watching right now? Yep, Santa Claus is watching you right now. Well, I got a message for Santa Claus. Hey, Santa Claus, F you. What? In. That spells fun, and I'm not having fun right now, because you didn't give me any new toys to play with. Well, Jeffy, you're being bad right now, and he's not listening to you. Well, how do I get toys right now, Daddy? Well, Jeffy, if I got Santa Claus to come visit you right now, would you apologize to him and promise you'd be good forever? Yeah. What, you would? Uh-huh. So if I go get Santa Claus, you apologize to him? Uh-huh. All right, Jeffy, let me go get Santa Claus, but you've got to be on your best behavior, and you've got to apologize and promise you'll always be good. Okay, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, Santa Claus will be here any second now. Okay, Daddy. I think it's Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho! And I'm not talking about my ex-wife! Santa Claus! Yep, that's me. I'm Santa. And I brought Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. People used to laugh and call them names, and they still do. You red-nosed freak. All right, Jeffy. Clown. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm done. All right, Jeffy. Ugly. What? We get it. All right. All right, Jeffy. What were you going to say to Santa Claus? Hey, Mr. Santa Claus. F you. Whoa. In. Oh, it spells fun. Yeah, and I'm not having fun this year because you didn't bring me any new toys. Well, you've been a really bad boy this year. You've been yelling and cussing and breaking stuff, and kids like that don't get toys. Yeah, Jeffy, and he's been watching you all year. Yeah, I've been watching all the kids. Just millions of kids. 24-7, 365. Watching all the kids. I see, I see everything they do. I, uh, I should be investigated. I, I have a problem. I have a problem making all these toys for all, for all the kids, is what I meant to say. But it, it's kind of messed up if you think about it. Like, like, I got thousands of midgets working for me for no pay to make toys, and then I break into people's houses to deliver those toys, and then, and then I fly in my sleigh over no-fly zones, and, and just to go back home so I can watch more kids.
Well, Mr. Santa Claus, I'm sorry, and I promise you being good. Give me toys. Well, I'm sorry, but this- Huh? I'm sorry, you are so ugly. It is that glitter on your nose? Yes. What, did you even try on your costume? What, what is this? Did you shave your stomach? Did you get spayed? It's homemade. Hey, 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 how about we focus well, on this? Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, you're not getting any toys this year because you were bad. You have to wait till next year. Next year? Oh, that, that's Santa Claus! Whoa, whoa! That's not the real Santa Claus! He's right. I'm a fraud! Boo! Uh, uh, and this isn't Rudolph either, it's my co-worker, Jerry. Uh, uh, the, the, Where's the real Santa Claus, dang? Uh, the, the, the real Santa Claus, Jeffy, he's in, uh, North Carolina. What? North Carolina? Don't you mean the North Pole? Uh, oh yeah, the North, the North Pole. That's yeah, what... yeah, Santa Claus likes to go to North Carolina on weekends so he can look at lighthouses at Cape Hatteras. Oh, oh he's at the North Pole, Jeffy. I, I couldn't get him, he was really busy, so I got this Santa Claus. It's, so yeah. Well, I'm gonna find the real Santa Claus! <laughs> well, <j> <sighs> well, thanks for trying. So Cody can shoot rockets and missiles and he also can blow up an entire planet. He can do all that stuff? Yeah, Santa Claus gave him to me. He's pretty cool. Junior, I need your help! Huh? Wait, 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 with what? I need to go to North Carolina. What? Why? To see Santa Claus. But don't you mean the North Pole? And why do you gotta see Santa Claus anyway? Because he didn't give me no toys for Christmas and I gotta ask him why. Well, Cody, uh, can you take us to North Pole with like one of your machines? No, Junior, there's no way. Well, do you think you could bring Santa Claus to us with like a teleportation machine? Huh, I, might, I might have something for that. Hold on. Wait, really? Let me just get the old uke here. Uke? This ukulele can open up portals in space and time just with music. Wait, really? Yeah, so if we play a catchy enough jingle, maybe we can bring Santa here. Okay. Let's give it a shot. My name is Cody, and I'm a hunky dude. Hunky dude, hunky dude, hunky dude. Hunky, dude. What do you think about that? Well, where's the portal? Huh? The portal? What, 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 the portal I opened to your heart? No, no, the one that's supposed to bring Santa Claus to us. Oh, well, well, this is just a normal ukulele. I just, I just wanted to know if you liked the song. It, it was okay. I liked it. Okay, well, I'll work on that, but... Here is the Santa portal. Whoa! Yeah. How's it work? Well, you just crank the old knob and then you turn that dial there. But you have to say what you want to bring here. Okay, it's that simple? Yep. Okay, um, we want Santa Claus in this room right now. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on here? Where am I? Oh, hey, Santa! I'll tell you what's going on. You're about to catch these hands. Take that, Santa! Oh my god! Jiffy, you knocked out Santa Claus! Yeah, why'd you do that? Cause he didn't give me no toys for Christmas! Oh, oh, oh no! Why'd you do that? Cause you didn't give me no toys for Christmas! What? No toys? The only reason you would get no toys is if you were on the naughty list! Let me check! Hmm. So, what was your name, little boy? My name is Jeffy. See, it says on my shirt. Jeffy. Hmm, Jeffy. Yes. Look, your name's right here. <laughs> oh, Junior! Cody! Stop him! Huh? I'll give you all the toys you want if you let me go. All the toys I want? Okay. Yeah, there, I made the rope extra tight this time. Listen, I won't run again, I swear, if you let me go. Shut up, Santa! I'm never letting you go after what you just did. Just let me get my toy back and I'll give you whatever toy you want. Santa's promise. Ooh. Junior, should I trust him? Well, he gave you the Santa's promise and I don't think he'd run again. So yeah, I'd let him go. All right. Yeah, I don't think he's going to run again. This 
is my magical toy bag. It has every toy you can imagine. But but it's empty. Because I can reach all the toys from the North Pole. Wait, wait, wait so, so that bag takes you to the North Pole? Uh-huh. What, what? Elf, elf, help, give me this cloth. Wait, he's trying to escape to the North Pole, get him. Stop him, come on, help. I think I'm free! <laughs> Let me go! I'm sorry! We're not falling for that again, Santa. You keep trying to escape. Yeah, Santa, why is it so hard to give Jeffy just one toy? Because he's naughty! Huh? Who's that? I don't know. Help! Help! Cram it, Kringle! Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. I'm gonna answer the door. Just, uh, just keep him shut up. Uh, hello? Merry Christmas! Uh, cops, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, we got a call from the North Pole saying that Santa had called them and told them that he had been kidnapped. What, kidnapped? Santa Claus got kidnapped? Yeah, yeah, we take calls from the North Pole pretty seriously, so I'm gonna have to come in and look around, even though I don't have a warrant. Uh, but, uh, Santa Claus is definitely not here, so, so why would you want to come in? Yeah, but I, I still have to search, so... <laughs> okay, now where is that Santa? <laughs> What is that noise? Uh, it's the, it's the robot toy that I got for Christmas. Oh, that's awesome! Huh. Oh, ooh, what is that thing? Oh, uh, that, that's my snow globe. What, what was that? Uh, your mom. What? Cause she's fat. My mom. Uh, uh huh. Really? Really? You're gonna do that? You're gonna call my mom fat? What is what is what is what is the matter with you? Just insult my mother? I, like I, I meant your ex-wife. Hey, here you go, my man. All right, if you see Santa, you just give me a call, okay? Okay, will do. <laughs> Guys, what was all that noise? We almost got caught. Sorry, Junior, we were trying to keep him quiet. Well, I saw Jeffy trying to keep him quiet by hitting him in the head. What were you doing? I was hitting him in the head. <laughs> well, you were doing a bad job at it. <laughs> I just want toys. Well, well yeah, well, what were we going to do? Are you going to give him toys or not? Listen, I'll give you one toy if you give me milk and cookies. What, what, milk and cookies? Um, I mean, I don't know if we should trust him. He keeps trying to run off and stuff, but... All right, Cody, how about you go get the milk and cookies and we'll stay here with him. Okay. These are some good cookies, boy! Thank you. Am I gonna get a toy or not? <laughs> I'll take damage no! Santa, why are you playing games? Just give Jeffy a toy! G guys! Uh, Cody, not right now. Jeffy, why does Santa hate you so much? Oh, no, Junior! G guys! What, Cody? I think Santa's choking! What, he's choking? Yeah! What do we do? Oh, Santa, stop making that noise! Oh, oh, Jeffy, you just saved Santa's life! Yeah, Jeffy, you saved Santa Claus's life! Oh, great! You, you saved my life! Give me toys! Maybe you're not so naughty after all! Give me toys! You know what? I will give you toys! Oh, Jeffy, you're gonna get a toy for saving his life! Great! Okay, I decided to give all three of you a toy! Really? Awesome. Yeah, so just turn around, count to ten, and then when you turn it back around, you'll have your toy! Okay, okay, okay yeah, that's awesome! And go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Where's our toy? Huh? Oh, he left? What? Oh, yeah, you caught us off guard. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, man, y'all never gonna get a toy. Oh, my God. There's no point chasing me, though. You know he's already at the North Pole. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm never gonna get a toy for Christmas. That sucks, Jeffy. Yeah, I just really wanted a toy. Yeah, everybody deserves a toy on Christmas. Except for me. Yeah, except for you. Junior. I, I, I mean... Hey Jeffy, uh, you want to have my 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 really cool, super cool robot toy for Christmas? Really? Y yeah, you can have that. Oh, nice, Junior. Thank you. See, Junior, Christmas should be about giving. Yeah, I mean, that did feel really good. Yeah. But, but, but why didn't we just bring Santa back with this thing? Oh, it's all out of juice, Junior. It's not gonna work. Oh. But uh, is there something you want to give me? Um, you know, like, like anything, it just... No. Oh. Is there anything you can give me? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, there is. Hey, Danny, 
Can you do me a favor? What do you want, Jeffy? Can you throw this baseball as fast as you can at my eye? Why would I do that, Jeffy? Because I want to see what a bat sees when it hits a baseball. Jeffy, you don't need to see what that looks like. What it looked like. Ow, Jeffy, why would you do that? That really hurt. I wanted to know what it looked like. Well, all I saw was a ball hit me in the face and then it hurt. That's what she said. Jeffy, look, I'm not gonna throw a baseball at your eye. Get someone else to do it. All right, buddy. You gave me a black eye. No, I'm a cow. Hey, can you do me a favor? Moo! Meow! Quack, 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 quack! We snore! <laughs> okay, you win, Mr. Hippo. I was supposed to be a donkey. Oh, okay. Anyway, can you do me a favor and throw this baseball as fast as you can at my eye? Sure, I love throwing baseballs. Let me see it. Okay, get ready for the super fast, double decker, fast make fast, or send fastball special! Ah! Mm, ow. Whoa, kid! You got a wicked booboo on your eye. You should get your mommy to kiss it. My mommy's in jail. Mine too! Best friends forever! Wookity, 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 wookity. Okay, see you later, best friend. All right, see you at school. All right, class. Today, we have a guest speaker, and it's a cop. Do I smell baking, class? Oink, 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 oink. How incredibly inappropriate. All right, class. Now remember, hide your rugs with a deer in front of it, or you might get arrested. Yeah, well, anyway, I am your guest speaker. I, I'm the bacon, I guess, but I'd rather you call me Officer Brooklyn T. Guy. Now, I'm here today to talk to you about why police officers are your friends and that you should be nice to them, okay? But, you know, as a cop, I guess I should probably start out by saying, you know, don't talk to strangers and all that unless they got money. I mean, you know how that goes. You know, like he said, don't do rugs with a D in front of it. Well, that's bad. Uh, but mostly, I'm just here to tell you why you should be nice to me and the kind of things I have to deal with on a daily basis. So, every morning, I wake up next to my fat wife who spits in my coffee and tells me I'm worthless and that'll never amount to anything. So, obviously, I've got a lot of rage built up after that, so I pull over the first car I see. Just the very, very first one, and I just really let him have it, you know? I just really lay into him. I just turn off the old body cam and really give it to him. I'm tasing him, hitting him with the taser, I'm just, I'm just, I'm beating him up, right? But after that, I've got all the rage out of my system, so the next car I pull over, I just let them off with a warning. Unless it's a hot chick. You know? <laughs> then, you know, maybe you show me a little something, then I'll let you go, you know? There, there's this one hot chick, oh, I pull her over every single day. She's like, why are you pulling me over? I'm like, you know why, come on, show me, let me see him. That's right, she's got the best Pokemon cards. Mm. Mm. I'd give her a slow poke if you know what I mean. Anyway, yeah, so uh... Oh, Jeffy! Oh, what's up, Junior? What happened to your eye? Oh, this? Well, I won't... You got in a fight? No, I won't... Wait, Jeffy got in a fight? Yeah, I think Jeffy got in a fight. Look at his eye. No, I didn't. Whoa, what happened? You get in a fight with a bear? No. Did you get in a fight with a family of bears? No. Did you try to take their porridge? No. Did you jump out of a burning building and land on your eye? Well, would that be cool? That'd be so cool. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, what happened? Jeffy, tell us what happened. Hey, you have to tell us. Yeah, was it something cool? Oh, uh, oh, uh, something cool? Yeah, was it something cool? Oh, uh, <gasps> My God, you guys want to hear something cool? Yeah, what happened? All right, this is exactly what happened. Hey, hey, was I talking or were you talking? Because I'm pretty sure I was talking. I, look at this, look, it says guest speaker right here in chalk. That's me, I'm the guest speaker. I came here to talk today. Unless you have a better story to tell. All right, you know what, come on up here. Come on and tell your really cool story. No, I, I want to hear your story about how much of a hero you are and how you save lives every day like me. Come on, no, come on up here, I want to hear it. Yeah, Jeffy, go up there and tell your story. Yeah, tell us. Okay. Come on up here, big man. Can't wait to hear your story. That's a nice black eye you got there. You know, I had a black eye one time. You want to know how I got it? I was saving a dog from a hot car, and I opened the car door too fast and hit myself in the eye, but I still saved the puppy, so... <laughs> Alright, let's hear your stupid story. Alright. So this is the story on how I got my black eye. So I woke up this morning. All right, the story's pretty similar to mine so far, but go ahead. And I heard on the news that there was a building on fire. Yeah, I'm, I'm a firefighter, so that doesn't really matter, big whoop. 
But there were 45 babies trapped on the top floor. Yeah, wait, really? Yeah, and no firefighter was brave enough to go into the burning building because it was too hot. Oh no. And then I saw that there was the only work for Jeffy. And so I ran into the building and I jumped over the fire. And I ran all the way up to the top floor. And all I did was start grabbing all the babies. So I was holding 45 babies and I was trying to run out of the building as fast as I could. But I got the baby. But I caught the baby with my foot. <sighs> so I was hopping and I, and I realized that there was no way out. So I had to go to the top floor of the building. So I was on the roof of the building and I looked down and I said, I gotta get down from here. But there was no way down. So I had to dig quick. So I hurried up and I made a parachute out of the baby diapers. Oh, it's genius. And I jumped down and I parachuted to safety. Oh, thank God. And I landed safely on the ground. Whew. But then there was an earthquake. Oh no. He said, oh, I'm hungry for babies. And I said, no, Mr. Godzilla, babies are not on the menu today. And... And he took me in the eye. Oh, that Godzilla. And, and, and I'm only using one of my eyes and, and one of my foot. And I was still hopping on my foot. I, I kicked him in the space and I beat him up. And then, and then, and then, and then all the babies got adopted. Wow. Oh my god. That, that was the most beautiful story I've ever heard. Kid, you're a hero. You, you know what? Take my shirt and my hat, too. You deserve it. C class, class, cheer for him. He's a hero. He saved those babies and he saved the world. Everybody cheer. Hero, hero, hero. The whole hero, world needs hero. to know about you. Breaking news, okay? A 15 year old boy has saved 45 babies from a burning building, and then he saved the world from Godzilla. We have Brooklyn Tea Guy now with a live press conference. Brooklyn? Thanks, Goodman. I'm here with Jeffy, the true American hero who saved 45 babies from a burning building and then kicked Godzilla into space. Yep, sure did. Jeffy, we'd like to present you with this WSA medal, the World Savior Award. We'd also like to present you with this, the Saving Babies from a Burning Building medal. For all those babies you saved from that burning building. Oh, you can just call me 2 Change. I'm out here. Mm. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, oh, okay, we're getting word now from scientists who are saying that there was no earthquake recently and that there's been no seismic activity. Your mom is showing signs of seismic activity. Ouch. Ouch, ladies and gentlemen. He's not just a hero, he's also... What? Hey there, father of a hero. What's going on? Hey, Danny. You can call me 2 Change. I'm out here. I'm making moves, Danny. Yeah, your son's a real hero. He saved 45 babies from a burning building, and he beat up Godzilla. Oh, he did all that? Yep, sure did, Danny. Yeah, didn't you see the news? He's even got the black eye to prove it. Well, actually, now that I'm looking at it, you have a black eye, too. How'd that happen? Oh, uh, my son Jeffy threw a baseball at my face. Wait, what? Oh, d don't you remember, Danny? Godzilla gave me the black eye. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Godzilla gave me this black eye. Yeah, he, he, he started flying, and his wings hit me in the eye. Well, well, Godzilla doesn't have wings. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, his tail hit me in the eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad my son Jeffy told the truth and, and said he saved all those babies and, 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 and beat up Godzilla. Like, do you have proof that any of this happened? Well, I mean, there are some questions. I mean, we, 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 we don't know anything about a fire happening recently, and uh, they haven't been able to prove that there was an earthquake, but he has a black eye, so I believe him. Yep. But anyway, I'm just going to leave you two alone. You have fun being a hero. Jeffy, explain why you lied to the entire world and said you did all this stuff that you didn't do. Well, Danny, I was going to tell my friends what really happened with my black eye, but they wanted to hear a cool story. So I had to make up something cool so that they thought I was cool. Jeffy, you lied to the entire world. Now they think you're some hero or something that you didn't do. Jeffy, you know what? You're going to sit here and think about what you did because I did not raised no liar. But Danny, nothing bad's going to come of it. <sighs> well, yeah, we'll see, Jeffy. Hey. Oh, hey, best friend. Don't call me that. You're a liar. Oh, what, what did I lie about? I know how you really got that black eye, and you didn't really save all those babies. And I know Godzilla personally, and you, sir, did not fight Godzilla. He is a nice man. 
So we'll see who the real hero is next time a building catches fire. Why aren't you wearing shoes? <sighs> Jeff, let's just watch TV. <sighs> a hospital that is on fire with 50 babies trapped inside. The fire department and emergency personnel are currently not responding because we know that the hero Jeffy will arrive shortly to save the day. Pampers has already airdropped a box of diapers to the top of the hospital so when Jeffy gets to the roof he can build another parachute out of diapers and glide to safety. Jeffy, if you can hear us, we need you now more than ever. Well, would you look at that, Jeffy? There's a hospital on fire with 50 babies in it, and they expect you to save them, so go save them. I didn't have to. Oh, uh, yeah, you do. Oh, uh, nah, nah. uh, yeah, you do. Oh, uh, nah, nah. uh, yeah, you do, Jeffy, because you lied to the world and said you did it before, so they expect you to do it again. So, what are you doing, Jeffy? I'm turning off my ears, Daddy, so I can't hear you anymore. You can't just turn off your ears, Jeffy. That's not how it works. Huh? Jeffy! You can't turn off your ears, Jeffy. You can hear me. Jeffy, thank God I found you. There's a hospital that's on fire and there are 50... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't waste your breath. He can't hear you. W why not? Because he just turned his ears off. W what? Yeah, he just turned his ears off. Yeah, apparently he can do that. Well, can he turn it back on? This is an emergency. Jeffy, can you turn your ears back on for the nice firefighter man? Please? All right, Daddy, my ears are back on. Watch out. Okay, there are, there's a hospital that's on fire, and there are 50 babies trapped on the top. You're just going to turn your ears back off. Jay, you cannot just turn your ears. Listen to the man. Listen to him. Jay, turn your ears back on. Turn them back on, Jeffy. Daddy, why would you turn my ears back on? Because you need to listen to the firefighter. Now listen. Okay, Jeffy, there is a hospital that's on fire, and there are 50 babies trapped on the top. On the top. Je Jeffy? Jeffy, listen to him. Listen to him right now. All right, Daddy. Jeffy, there are 50 babies trapped in the top floor of a burning hospital, and you are the only one that can save them. Well, I can't do it right now. What, what, what are you talking about? There's no time for this. We need you to save those babies. I don't feel good. What, Jeffy, we, we, we can't have you not feeling good. Those babies need you. Yeah, Jeffy, is there something you need to tell the nice firefighter? You know, maybe you should tell the firefighter the truth. Is there something you need to tell the nice firefighter man? But what, what was that? What was I supposed to get from that? <sighs> okay, what he was trying to tell you was, he was trying to tell you that he's a liar, and he didn't save any babies, there was no earthquake, there was no Godzilla, there was no other babies, he didn't do anything, he just threw a baseball on his eye. Wait, wait you're telling me he didn't really kick Godzilla into space? No, because Godzilla doesn't exist! What? So he made all of this up? He made it all up, he's a liar! What? Oh, oh my god, what are we gonna do? We, we gotta save those babies from the burning hospital! Well, well, why don't you call the fire department? They all quit because they thought he could handle it! Well, they all quit? Yeah, I was gonna quit too, I just put in my two weeks notice! Well, well then you're the only one that can save the babies! Well, what, do I look like a firefighter? Yes! You can go save those babies, get in there and save those babies! What, you, you really believe in me? Yes! You can go do it, go do it! <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. This, this is my chance to finally prove my wife wrong. I am worth something. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go save all 50 of those babies! Yeah, you go do it. Go save all 50 of those babies. Breaking news, okay? It turns out that the Jeffy kid was a liar. He didn't save anyone. He's a straight up liar. Anyway, we have a new hero in town. Firefighter Brooklyn T. Guy, who just ran into the burning hospital and saved all 50 of the babies. We have an interview with him now. Brooklyn? Uh, did you say I saved all 50 babies? Because I didn't. I, I mean, I only saved four. I mean, th there's still 46 babies left in that building back there. I mean, it, it's it's really hot in there, okay? I mean, you can see it. That that building's on fire. It's really it's really hard to breathe, okay? I mean, I, I did what I could. I saved four. I mean, one of them got a little burned, but... Uh, oh, wait, never mind. It, can we cut that? No, oh, no, it's live? Oh, oh, man. Well, I mean, I'm still a hero, right? I still get a medal, right? It, I gotta save five babies for the metal? What, are you kidding me? Have you seen that building? Oh my, no, I'm not going back in there. It's not worth the metal for that. No, no it is, it is way too hot in there. Ugh. Well, I saved four, I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, that's, that's four more than that Jeffy kid saved, I'll tell you that. Yeah, how about we talk about that? How about we talk about how he lied, okay? Made me look like a fool on national television. Yeah, there's no way he saved 45, 46, whatever babies from that building over there. I couldn't even save more than four. He only saved four? 
Hey there. Uh, hey buddy, how's it going? Well, uh, I learned that fires are hot and babies are heavier than they look. Yeah, yeah, so you only saved four? Yeah, yeah I did. You know, I wanted to save more, but I didn't because it was hot and there was fire like everywhere. Just, you know, like fire just all, all over the place, like right up in my face and I couldn't breathe. But, you know, I still saved four babies, which is four more than either of you two losers. So, yeah. Jeffy, well, I hope you learned your lesson. I hope you learned your lesson to tell the truth all the time and to always be honest because lying always gets you in trouble. It's always better to tell the truth and to be honest. You turned your ears off, didn't you, Jeffy? <sighs> all right, class, today we are learning math lesson, Jeffy's Law. First problem, eight minus four equals Anybody? Uh, the answer is four. Wrong! You tell! The answer is not four. The answer is eight. See, you have eight minus four, take away the four, and eight is all that's left. All right, understand, Crass? That's not... All right, Crass, next problem. All right, we have two plus two equals... Anybody? Baby two! Because we have the mommy two and the daddy two that love each other very much. They make baby two. Okay, any questions? Alright, moving on. Next one. Alright, we have zero. Two. Hey, retard. I said. <laughs> hey, retard. I would greatly appreciate if you stopped throwing paper balls at me. Thanks. Listen here, mother If you throw another goddamn paper ball at me, I will shit up. I'm not to be with. Hey, retard. Nice helmet. Want to die today, mother Whoa, calm down, retard. I think you got your helmet on too tight. Oh, you know what? I think it is. You want to fix it for me? What's wrong, Mario? I just have a bad feeling that Jeffy got in trouble at school today. Oh, Mario, you're just paranoid. What? Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's Jeffy's teacher. Uh, hello? Hello, is this Mario? Yes, this is Mario. Can you come in for a parent-teacher conference? It's emergency. Yeah, I'll be there right away. Uh, all right, bye. Mario, what's wrong? Uh, that was Jeffy's teacher. He, he wants a parent-teacher conference right now. What? Why? I don't know. L let's go find out. Thank you for coming to parent-teacher conference! Wait, what is this all about? Your son Jeffy, he beat up another student. Wait, what? what? Yeah, he kicked his ass. He kicked his ass real good. Well, well, well why'd he do that? I don't know. I, I teach him, I turn around, he kick ass. He kick student ass. Pretend desk is student ass. <laughs> beat him up! What? Jeffy's not usually violent. Yeah, are, are you sure the student didn't like touch Jeffy's crayons or something? Or I don't know. I don't see it. My eyes are so slant. But I do know that we cannot have violence in this school. Uh, I understand that completely. What do you want us to do about it? Well, I want Jeffy to write the student a note saying how sorry he is for kicking ass. Uh, uh, okay, I understand that. If he gets caught fighting again, suspended. Done. All right. Uh, I, I think I know what to do. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chu, for wasting your time. You beat up a student, Jeffy! Yep. Jeffy, you're not supposed to fight people! No fighting people, Jeffy! One guy, he threw a paper ball at me and called me a retard! Nice helmet! So I ain't gonna fuck him up! Language, Jeffy! Jeffy, just because someone throws a paper ball at you and calls your name doesn't mean you can beat him up! Well, I had to teach an asshole a lesson! Daddy, the first day you let somebody walk all over you is the day you become a bitch! And Jeffy ain't no bitch! What? Mario, what if Jeffy really is being bullied? Jeffy's not being bullied! That mother called me a retard, Daddy, so he got this four-finger knuckle sandwich right down his suck hole! Well, Jeffy said you wanted to fight him, now you have to write a letter apologizing to him. Apologizing? For what, bitch? Because he's a f***ing pussy and he can't square up against Jeffy? What was it, Jeffy? Daddy, I'm not writing 
What? Mario, <laughs> uh, I'll write the letter. Uh, uh, okay, fine. Rosalina's gonna write the letter, and you're gonna hand it to him in class, okay? And, you, and you're gonna apologize. All right, class, take your seats. We're about to start. Hey, what do you want? My mom wrote you a note. I mean, I wrote you a note saying I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, here, I wrote you a note too. Huh? Oh, you did? Yeah. Thanks. He wrote me a note. Wants to die. Ah! I very disappoint that we have to have this conversation again. Well, what happened this time? Your son Jeffy, he beat up the same student while trying to apologize. What? Mario, what has gotten into Jeffy? Well, he beat up the same student? Well, well, my son says that bully Bill's bullying him. I know see bullying. My eyes are so slant. I know see it. I have no choice but to suspend your son for a week. Well, a week? <sighs> Get your son and Reeve. You beat up the student again, Jeffy? Uh-huh. That's it, Jeffy. You're grounded for a week. Well, at least I'm not a bitch. Jeffy, we said no more fighting. Jeffy, all you had to do was give him the letter and apologize. I did, Daddy. And you want to know what he did? What? I'll show you. He gave me a letter saying I was a retard. Well, no, Mario. This is proof Jeffy really is being bullied. Well, even if this is true, Jeffy shouldn't have beat up the bully. Daddy! Whose side are you on? Well, well Jeffy, you shouldn't have fought him. You should have just gave the letter to the teacher or told the teacher. Teachers don't do Mario, I don't like that Jeffy is the only one being blamed for all this. Well, well, there's nothing we can do about it. Jeffy's suspended for a week. What does suspended mean? That means you can't go to school for a week. Great, Daddy! I should have gotten suspended a long time ago. This damn week of my life, I beat up an asshole and I got suspended. Jeffy, it's not a good thing that you're really suspended. You means you can't go to school, you can't do your schoolwork, and you might fail. Great! <laughs> Mario, what about when we send Jeffy back to school? We put a camera on his head and see what's really going on. Put a camera on his... I mean, we would be able to see if he's getting bullied and yeah. we'd have proof to show the teacher and maybe they can uh, give him his schoolwork for that week that he's going to miss. Yes! <sighs> I guess that's what we're going to do then. <sighs> Is that noticeable? I can't tell it's there. Yeah, you can't really notice it. All right, Jeffy, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to school, okay? And you're not completely normal. And if you're really getting bullied, we'll have all the proof we need on that camera. What happened if that motherfucker gets in my face? Well, he, he, Jeffy, if he does, you're just gonna be quiet. You're not gonna say anything. You're not gonna fight him. Well, Daddy, what if he calls me a retard? I'll drop that motherfucker. What, what, Jeffy, no, don't fight him. Don't do anything. We'll have all the proof we need if he's really bullying you. Daddy, talk shit, get hit. If the mother didn't learn the first two times, then he need that third time to charm my ass whooping, Daddy. <sighs> just, just, just get in the car, Jeffy. Damn right, Daddy. <sighs> All right, class. Today we're going to be learning about history. Take your seats. <sighs> Back so soon, retard? <sighs> Don't listen to him, Jeffy. <laughs> Who dressed you today, huh? Your mommy? <clears throat> You know that I dress myself every morning. Whoa, nice camera on your head. What are you filming? A day in the life of a retard? <laughs> this time I'm gonna kill you, bitch! Enemy spotted. Huh? Holy shit! shit, shit.
Oh, he calling retard? That's messed up. That's messed up. Yeah, so Bully Bill was bullying Jeffy the whole time. Yeah, but Jeffy kicked his ass. Jeffy kicked his ass real good. <laughs> so, so, so is Jeffy in trouble? No, Jeffy no in trouble now. Bully Bill the one in trouble. But I think Jeffy taught him a lesson, so he definitely learned his lesson now. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just, I, I hate that Jeffy was getting bullied, but now we have the proof, though. Yeah, we do. So, Bully Bill in trouble. He done. Hey, Jeffy. What do you want? I, I, I just wanted to say, um, I'm sorry for calling you names and bullying you. I just, my name is Bully, and so I feel like that's what I have to do. Well, which ass beating made you realize that? The first, second, or the third? The, the third, definitely the third one, yeah. Okay, well, apology accepted. Great. So, Jeffy, the bully really apologized? Yeah, Mommy. He was probably tired of his ass getting beat. Well, Jeffy, I'm glad the bully apologized, but you shouldn't beat up people. You should always go tell a teacher or an adult. No, Daddy. Snitches get stitches. The only way you teach them a lesson is to get a Jeffy foot up their ass. <sighs> dude, 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 guess what? I just got invited to PJ Crenshaw's Major Ranger Party! PJ Crenshaw! Here, Jamie's Crenshaw! Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw! You know, dude, look, it's right here. The invitation's right here. Oh, that's an official signature. Yeah, dude. Guys, guys, guys. Huh? I just got invited to PJ Crenshaw's major rager party. PJ Crenshaw? Here, Jamie's Crenshaw. Jamie Jam's Crenshaw! That one? Yeah, his signature's right there. Wait, he invited you to the major rager? Yeah, and all this talk about major ragers is giving me a major rager in my pants. Well, why would he invite you guys and not me? I don't know, Junior. I guess we're just cool. Yeah, sorry, dude. Hey, what's up, haters? Huh? PJ Crenshaw! Hey, Jimmy's Crenshaw! <laughs> Jimmy Dan's Crenshaw! Boys, boys, calm down. It's just me. Uh, PJ, Crenshaw, your coolness? You may speak. Um, I was wondering, since you invited both my friends to your major rager party, that maybe I just might be lucky enough to be invited to your party? <laughs> what do you think I came, bro? Bethany, give the man his invite. Here you go. You're so lucky. Oh my god! Guys! I'm invited to BJ's Major Ranger! That's a good thing too, Junior, because if you weren't going to that party, we never would have talked to you ever again. Yeah, you would have been a total loser, dude. Well, good thing I was invited, guys. Hey, guys! All good! Uh, we're all going to a party, Jeffy. You want to come? Yeah, I want to come to a party. PJ, can you come? Oh, definitely not. But why? Because Jeffy tried to steal my girls one time, and that is an immediate no-no in PJ's book. Well, well, well that, that, that's really sad, because he won't be invited, he'll feel left out. Yeah, I don't care, he's not coming. Well, well, well Jeffy's 18, maybe he can buy stuff for your party that you can't get. Huh. Well, we do need root beer for the party, and none of us are old enough to buy it ourselves. Okay, I'll tell you what, if Jeffy brings root beer for the party, he's invited. You hear that, Jeffy? All you have to do is get root beer and you can go to the party. Okay, I can buy root beer. I even got my own car. All right, th there will be root beer there. Uh. Okay, good. So you bring the root beer, you're in. Come on, ladies. I want to bounce, and I'm not talking about leaving. We're going to the Major Ranger! Anybody who's anyone's gonna be there! Time to rage, dude! Yeah! Okay, so guys, let's go to the party! All wait, right. wait, 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 guys, guys, we, we have to get root beer for Jeffy. Oh, oh, yeah, we have to get the root beer first. Jeffy, let's go get root beer, you're driving.
know how to throw a major rager. I thought you said there was going to be a rep beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there will be. I, I don't know where that guy is right now. I'm leaving if there's no root beer. No, no, don't worry. There's, there's going to be root beer. Wait, I think that's the guy right now. Uh, hello? We got the root beer. Oh, thank God, bro. The chicks were going to leave. The chicks. chicks! Chicks, we did? Yeah, come on in. Let's go. Oh, ladies, the root beer's here. What are you doing? Get some root beer. Let's party. <laughs> oh, I've already drank five root beers. Drink up. This party's never going to end. Dude, I'm going to run on the roof. I'm going to eat fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, man. I drank so much root beer. Oh, no. The roof's spinning. Please make it stop. It's not gonna stop, Joey. That we're on a planet that's spinning. What? Junior, 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 Junior! I have to tell you, you're uh -huh. hot. Huh? You're so hot. Oh, you're so hot, Vanilla Puff. Oh my God! Do you want to go in my room and make out? <gasps> this is your house? Yeah, my dad's gonna kill me. Woo Dude, you gotta do it, G. D T F D T F. Now hold on, Vanilla Puff. Me and Joseph made a pact. A uh, blood pact. Okay. He said if I ever went to a girl's room, I, a girl. I'd have to invite him. Yeah, and I'm him. Okay. So he can come? Okay. Wait, 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 come on. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, here I, I lost my hand. What? Oh, Corey, what happened to your hand? Oh, I put it in the garbage disposal. What? And he took it. And Joey, someone stole Corey's head. Oh, who stole your head, dude? I'll beat you. Who your did head. it? Who did it? I promise. It was the disposal. Okay. Disposal, show uh, yourself. Where uh, is he? It's probably covered in biscotti. Okay, right that's it. We can clean it off, dude. That's it. We're gonna kick his ass. Can always clean Where it is it? Huh? She fell asleep, no one's gonna freak me now! Oh, well, hey, Junior. Junior, you meet me in the closet, I will rock your world. Oh, I, will, I, will, I will take that off. <laughs> Jeffy! Jeffy! Hey, we're all out of root beer. Root beer? Can you go get some? Yeah, I'm going to drive and get it. Yeah, go get some more. Okay. Okay. okay, we gotta go find your hand, Cody. Okay. And then we gotta go to the closet. High five! You know what? I'm enjoying you guys. Damn Forget it. it. Yeah. I can't wait for this shift to be over. I really hope Penelope's not doing something stupid at home. I've never left a home alone before. What? 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 Oh my god, this guy's drunk driving! I gotta go after him. <coughs> oh, oh, oh! Why is this road so curvy? Oh! oh. 
Oh, got my root beer. Mm. Oh my god, this man is not stopping. Pull over, you jackass. You're gonna hurt somebody. What the hell are you doing? What? Come on, just pull over. Uh, what? What? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. He stopped. He stopped. Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. Have you been drinking tonight? Hold on. Let me get some. Well, don't, don't, don't reach for anything. What are you doing? What? I had to get. My root beer. What is it? Root beer? It sure is. Well, then why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like nothing. What? Okay, I guess I can add littering to the list of charges. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Okay, well, let me just. I, I'm sorry, do you think you're driving away right now? Because you're not. Screw you! Okay, it, it, it would be resisting arrest if you were. Okay, alright, that's it. Get out of the car. Come on. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Huh? Okay, we're gonna do a field sobriety test to see if you're drunk. Okay. All right, now try to say ABC's backward. I can't even say I'm forward. Okay, well then try to walk in a straight line. Wait. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, forget it. Um, try to touch your finger to your nose. No, that's that's not even close. Okay, how about this? Uh, count to five. Okay, that's it. Come on, come on. We're going to jail. All right, make your one phone call. Oh, hey, st stop it. Stop touching my hat. Just make your phone call. Uh, no, don't lick it. That's great. No, you know what? Give it to me. Oh, I hear daddy. I'll call him. Hello. Hey, this is jail. Huh? What the hell? Oh no, who got arrested? I caught your son drinking and driving. What? That is my dad. See my me! What did Jeffy do? He was drinking and driving, I just told you. Well, well, like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> drinking and driving? Don't, don't chew on that. Oh. Okay, I, I think you should just come get him, please. Oh, I'm on my way. Just stop it! Just get in there until your dad gets it. Stop licking things! That's gross! You're gonna get sick! Ew! Oh, okay, I'm here. Get him! But Jeffy, stop that! Oh, okay, what was he drinking? Well, see, that's the thing. He wasn't drinking anything bad. What? He was just drinking root beer. And I smack that bitch. I don't, I don't know what this is. If he was just drinking root beer, why is he arrested? I, I, I don't know why he's acting like this, okay? But but he was he was driving recklessly and he tried to resist arrest. So that's what I charged him with. Oh, okay, that's it. So so what? So how do we get the charge? The charges dropped? Well, I'm gonna need him to go to an AA meeting so that he can see that it's not funny to make fun of people who actually have problems. Oh, my nipples. Oh, okay. So please get him. Oh, wait, we're gonna go to an AA meeting. Come on. Uh, all right, Jeffy, you're gonna sit right here, and ooh, I can't even go over all the levels of grounded you are. What's the first level, and is the boss hard at the end? What's going on, Marvin? Jeffy got arrested for drinking and driving. Jeffy, how could you? You're not old enough to drink alcohol. It was root beer, and it got me fucked up. That's a gateway drink, Jeffy. It has the word beer in it. Yeah, Jeffy, you know no sodas after 8 p.m. Well, I'm a rebel, and no Red Bull either. Well, what's his punishment, Marvin? Well, the cop said he has to go to an AA meeting for his drinking problem. I don't have a problem with how much I drink. You have a problem with how much I drink. You were swerving all over the road. You could have killed someone, Jeffy. Jeffy, you're going to that meeting so you can learn your lesson. It was root beer. Penelope, I'm home. You better not have thrown a crazy party. W wait a minute. I hear music. I hate music. Wh what the? Penelope! Ugh. All right, guys, we never speak about what happened in the closet. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. What are you boys doing in my house? Oh, shit, sure, like the pig's back in the closet. Hey, Everybody out of my way, I got my mad eyebrows on. Why do you have your mad eyebrows on? Because I want to ask your son a question. Where were you taking that root beer? To my belly. Don't you lie to me, I'll kill you. What, what's going on? My daughter threw a major rager at our house while I was at work. 
she invited that PJ Crenshaw. Pair of Jamie's Crenshaw? Jamie James Crenshaw. Now he seems pretty cool, but I'm pissed at your son for bringing that root beer. Well, why aren't you mad at your daughter? Oh, don't worry. I already gave her an earful of eardrops because she has an ear infection, but I will yell at her later when she feels better. Well, don't worry. We're going to take Jeffy to his AA meeting. Well, I'm going to take him right now because I'm so mad. Oh, Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to AA, Addictions Anonymous. This is a space where we can all talk about our addictions and relate to each other so that we know that we're all struggling. Okay, Screwball, we'll start with you. Hi everyone, my name's Screwball. I'm addicted to every substance under the sun. I'm ordered by the court to be here, and I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Screwball. Uh, how, how long have you been sober? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, th that's a good start. Thank you, I'm trying really hard. Hey, can I smoke this candle? No. Uh, okay, Judy, let's go to you. Hey, everyone. My name is Judith, and I'm addicted to BBC. Ever since I first had BBC, I just can't stop thinking about it. It's so delicious. I just love having BBC in my mouth. I just love bacon broccoli casserole. Oh, that does sound good. Oh, it is. I'm proud of you. I wish I could go a whole day without blow. <laughs> Yeah. See? Damn it. There I go again. Alright, Judith. That's that's good. Okay, Shrek, it's your turn. Hello, everybody. My name is Shrek. I am addicted to eating the Sarah cream, cream, cream cheese cake. And when I eat it, my butthole, it uh, separates and it looks like overbaked muffin with the steam possibly coming out and then it just kind of folds over the sides of the little cupcake pan and then it's just like steamy goodness. Just... Okay. Uh, screwball, could you please not smoke in here? Sorry, Doc. Uh, uh, Jeffy, it's your turn. Hey, everyone. My name's Jeffy and I drink root beer and I don't know how to drive really well. So I got in trouble for that. Well, he didn't learn anything. And you have two candles now. Okay, well, I still appreciate all of you coming out. This is a step in the right direction. And to everyone watching this video, thank you for watching. And make sure you like and subscribe. And if you learn anything from this video, let it be that you should drive carefully and don't drink. Well, I mean, you can drink root beer, just not the second word in root beer. And definitely not while driving. And don't put candles in your mouth. Yeah, okay, that, that about covers it. I'm gonna go. Okay, Jeffy, here's your peas and here's your Coke. Jeffy, just eat all your peas, okay? Well, I want chocolate cake, Danny. You can get chocolate cake if you finish all your peas. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, yes, I promise, Jeffy. Just finish all your peas. Put your stupid coke out there. Get your stupid coke. Ah. You know, I'll, I'll just leave it. Bruh. Um, Danny, all done. Wait, you're all done? Yeah. I ate all my peas, Danny. Are you sure it's not on the floor, Jeffy? Nope, not on the floor. See? Told you, not on the floor. I guess, I guess you did eat all your peas. Wait. Hey. J Jeffy, move! No. Huh? Jeffy! What? She aborted all your seat, Jeffy! Talk like cake, please. Bruh. Please. You did not get any chocolate cake, Jeffy! <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy! I said only if you ate all your peas. You're not getting any chocolate cake. <sighs> Since you're being a bad boy, Jeffy, I'm gonna eat chocolate cake in front of you. What? Jeffy? Huh? <sighs> where'd he go? Jeffy! Jeffy, where'd you go? <laughs> what? Jeffy? <laughs> Jeffy, unlock the door! Jeffy! You unlock that door right now! Jeffy! You put that chocolate cake back! Jeffy! Jeffy! Oh, I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna- Jeffy! Unlock the door! Jeffy! Jeffy, unlock the door! Jeffy! Jeffy, unlock the door! Jeffy, unlock the door right now! Oh, what am I going to do? Huh? The front door. I can go to the front door. Jimmy? Jimmy? Jimmy, no! Are you sure about that? Jimmy! I'll lock the door, Jimmy! I want your password. Let me inside my house, Jimmy! 
Uh, okay, what am I gonna do? The garage. The garage! No! No! Die! 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 Oh my god! What am I gonna do? There's a window! There's a window open! Huh? Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, when I get up there, I'm gonna kill him. Hey, Donnie, what are doing? Jeffy! What? You let me inside the house! No. What, you, you better not close that window, Jeffy. Why? Uh, because I, I have to take my medicine. It, I, I, it's really important. You don't take medicine, Daddy. Yes, I do, Jeffy! Jeffy! Oh! Jeffy! Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate him so much. Huh? What are you doing, buddy? Uh, uh, ex excuse me, officer. I I'm just uh, trying to get inside my house, you know. Inside your house? Yeah. Well, why don't you just use the front door? B because my uh, retarded roommate locked me out. Really? It sounds like you got a grudge against somebody, huh? Can you get that light out of my eyes? No. Have you been drinking? Huh? Maybe, maybe a DUI? Well, I haven't been driving or drinking. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, so this is your house. Yes, th this is this is my house, and I'm just locked out. So can you help me uh, get in? Mm, well, we'll go see. Come on. He's not gonna answer. We'll try the doorbell. What? The doorbell. Yeah. See what difference it's gonna make. Yep. See, that's what it was. Oh, <laughs> can I help you? Uh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Jeffy, help me here. <laughs> whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? You uh, can't just go barging into this man's house. It's my house. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, excuse me, sir. I, I don't mean to bother you. Oh yeah, you are. Oh, well, I'll, I'll yeah. try to make this quick. Um, does Good. he live here? Him? Uh, yeah. Th th does he live here? Um, I've never seen him before in my life, officer. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, oh, Jimmy, you know I live here! Come on, Jimmy! Let's go! Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna kill him! Since you don't live here, I'm gonna have to ask you to get off the property. I do live here! Well, we just talked to the owner and he says you don't. Huh? How do you know he's the owner? The man answered the door holding chocolate cake. He's obviously got money. That doesn't mean he's the owner! Well, okay. By the way, you can't go over there anymore, okay? If I get another call saying that you're over here, you're going to the slammer, alright? Drunk bastard. <laughs> Jenny! Oh, what am I gonna do? It's freezing outside. I gotta get inside the house. <laughs> huh? The attic! I can go inside the attic! Let me get the ladder. Okay, I'm in the attic. Now, how do I get inside the house? The air vent. The air vent! Yeah. Oh, Jeffy, here I come. And when I see you, I'm gonna punch you in your retarded face. I hate you, Jeffy. I hate you. Oh my god, I can't wait to kill him. I'm coming for you, Jeffy. I'm coming. Oh my god. When I see him, I'm gonna punch him. I'm almost there. I'll be under. Whoa. Ah! Oh, what am I gonna do? It's freezing outside. There's a camera. Jimmy! Jimmy, I know you hear me! Jimmy! What? Jimmy! Jimmy! I know you hear me! Jimmy! What? What are you doing, Jimmy? Eating chocolate cake? What are you doing, Daddy? I'm freezing my ass off, Jimmy! Let me inside! No. Come on, please, Jeffy. I'll do whatever you want. I'll do whatever you want. You'll do whatever I want. Um, well, I do need more chocolate cake, Daddy. You can go get me more chocolate cake. And that'll let you in. Well, after I eat it. Ch chocolate cake? Okay, I'll get you the biggest chocolate cake. Just, I'll be right back. Great. Must be my chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is my favorite. Can't wait to eat it. Oh boy. Chocolate cake? What is that?
Run. Unlock the door! Huh? No, Jungle Gang Monster! Get, just, just get in the car. I, I know. Just go. I'm not touching you. I know. Breaking news, Gully! A drunk man has just been arrested for trying to break into someone's house while he was covered in chocolate cake! Why are you doing it?